Customers expect a faster service delivery. They want to be able to consume when they need it, how long they need it, but also define the parameters of the services they want. I'm Bart Jensens, and I'm one of the senior packet architects responsible for our next-gen network. We connect over 40 countries to over 1,106 data centers, and we span connectivity into US, but also all major APEC locations. We offer everything from Ethernet, IPVPN, DIA Internet Access, MPLS, security firewalls, so the whole package. Colt is a bit unique because we have a single network which connects all these locations, including 32,000 customer buildings, which means it's the underlay for everything we offer for our customers. But also end-to-end -end connectivity on the fly, high capacity, one gig to 400 gig, with a single, unique, dense silicon Cisco network. And that's really our edge to some of our competitors. The network generates so much telemetry data, and data is good, but it's not good if you have no way to absorb it. So we have a lot of data from the network, traditional metrics on utilization, but also power, because you want to calculate the, the footprint. We partnered with Cisco, and that goes into Skylight Analytics, which is our visualization layer for all of that data. We want to reduce our power consumption and rack space consumption, but also meet our customer needs to scale up bandwidth. At the same time, we were looking to help our customer consume services, which are more scalable, but also affordable. And to do that, RON plays a big role. 80% of our European core is now running over RON, which means we have power savings, 97%. We went from 170 watt to 5 watt per 100 gig. But at the same time, we have less rack space because we have typically 35 times more capacity than we had before with our previous generation of network equipment. So it's like sustainability goal met, more scaling, but also for the customer, we can take on whatever service comes and we can remain competitive with our pricing. And I'm expecting that, let's say 2025, we can do 100% of our backbone coverage using one, which means we have the capacity, we have stable links, which means SLA, uh, the, the five nines is fully met. It's fair to say in the market, everybody has their moment of glory. What is interesting with Cisco is that the moment comes again and again, we saw Silicon One came out together with Ron, which allowed us to keep growing, to keep improving. And what I like about Cisco is that it's a partnership. It's not just about the big building blocks, but they also listen to the customer and work on specific needs, on sustainability, on visualization of services. We are partnering with Cisco, and that is the game changer, it's the partnership. Not so much boxes, but really like the glue to do more with those boxes.